<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to this new Sunday cooking class. Hello, this is Ainoa. And this is Francisco. Welcome home. Welcome to Traveling the Steps. Today we're going to be cooking one of the cold soups that we love in this house. And that is, as always, super simple. Soup. We always say it's super simple, but in fact it is, you'll see. We have to make one confession here. She hates soup. Except cold soups. I'm not, I'm not a super fan of soups. I have to admit. I love soups. I'm a soup fan. Everybody loves soups here in this house. How come? All the day after daddy. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> not after mom. So what about you? Do you guys like soups or do you not like soups? I don't. I do. I'm, I'm called Mafalda. I don't know if they know Mafalda, but I, well, uh, Mafalda oh, hates soups. <laughs> Mafalda. Mafalda is a cartoon, for an Argentinian cartoon. Mm. She's super funny and she hates uh, she soup. hates soups. And we call her Mafalda. The soup. No! It's like, it's good. Anyway, so today is going to be a very cold soup, very fresh. Shall we? Okay. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go cook our cucumber and apple. Soup. Soup. As we said, mm, my favorite. I would say it's one of my favorites because I, well, I love all the soups in the world. So no, a big thing. Because I'm not faithful <laughs> to soups. I love them all. Okay, so what do we have today here? We have a bunch of bulls running around in our uh, fruits. And let's take a look at what we are cooking today. As you can see, it's going to be very fresh. So we have three cucumbers in here. We have one uh, Granny Smith apple. We have some mint and we have kefir. Okay, what is kefir? Well, it's like a thin yogurt with okay. a lot of probiotics. Okay, if you don't have kefir, I guess a yogurt could do. Yeah, I use yogurt and a bit of milk. Then you have uh, salt, lemon juice, and we put Tabasco. Today, Lucas is not here, but if Lucas is here, he puts... Half a bottle. He loves hot things. And then, for dressing it up, we have some feta cheese and some cucumber. Okay, so you will see how difficult this... Super soup difficult. is. Super difficult. You just need to have the ingredients here. Let me pass so, you the big bowl, girl. Yeah, yeah, pass me the big bowl. Right, so, uh, this, this we can do with my nieces and my nephew, uh, and then there's no mess and they eat it. So, cucumber, um, I mean, clean, no skin. Peel. We do we use the seeds? Yeah, we, we use the seeds, right? So if you don't want to find things in your soup, then just uh, unseed them, but uh, up to you. Okay, so we are using a Granny Smith. This is a Granny Smith. Why are we using Granny Smith? Because it's acid. But if you don't have Granny Smith, and sometimes it happens, just use golden or whatever you want, or maybe a gala, something that is a bit acid. Yeah. Right? You need a little bit of the acidity of the yeah. apple. So this, this, uh, this and the lemon juice is to give acidity, right? So you use the cucumber, the apple, um, depends on your taste, but a few. You like a lot of, I mean, mint. Oh, I like mint. So we are putting here like six big leaves, seven, up to you. I mean, you don't have to really count. Um, we are going to use- A big pinch of salt. A big pinch of salt. And we are going to use uh, I would say this is half a lemon juice, depends. Oops, sorry. You can also use vinegar. Let me zoom in because it looks so beautiful, all the colors. Sorry. <laughs> this time I told you I was going to zoom in. <laughs> okay, so now let's put the kefir into it. There we go. Um, this is half a liter kefir. It's two cups of kefir. Yeah, I would say. It depends on the thickness you want, right? Yeah. So um, but if it's too thick, you can always add water. And if it's too thin, you can add a bit more cucumber or a bit more apple. Yeah. So it's going to be noisy again. So you just need to blend everything in very, very well. If you have a food processor, it goes much faster. But we don't. We don't have one. It's too bad. All right. Let me make a zoom in again. Oh. So the thing is that 
right now in Spain it's yet again super hot. We're having, I would say, even a heat wave. So that's at home we don't have air conditioning because here in the north we barely rarely need that. Yes, windows open and these blinders that we have. That's what we normally need. So all of these super cold suits are like for these summer evenings. It's like great and fresh and nothing. So just goes in. It's clean. It's healthy. We love it. Really, 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 really love it. Okay. Uh, about the Tabasco, you can also put chili. If you don't have Tabasco, if you don't like Tabasco, you can put some little bit of chili. We like it at home with a little bit. As we said, if Lucas comes here, it's insane how much he puts. If Lucas is here, you... that's it because it's impossible. Yeah, I mean, we cannot catch up with him. He's like Mr. Hot, spicy. He's always like too much. Okay. Let me zoom in again. So really what you see is that it's not Okay, let me get a spoon. Um, as we put the seeds in, it's not going to be super it's not thin. Not going to be super thin. So, so people call this a cucumber gazpacho because it has that consistency. It's a little bit thicker than a yeah. soup, but it's not a puree. Okay, let's no, say that's in the middle. So yeah, it could be called a gazpacho. You have to taste it, and you have to be careful because it might need some salt and may need some tabasco. I'm going to put some tabasco. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah, I mean, the Tabasco really brings all the flavors up. Mm. So, well, or chili flakes, whatever. Yeah, chili flake. I mean, something that is spicy because, I mean, apple, cucumber is a little bit blunt. As you can see, we're not huge in no. Tabasco. Look how we little. <laughs> we're coward. Oops. Consistency. This is the one I like. Oh, okay. So we are going to leave it here. Okay. And, uh, okay, and one thing you I, I always do is that leave this in the fridge for I would say a good minimum two hours minimum, right? But uh, I'm going to show you how we um, present it. it. Right. So. Like, let's see, maybe for me. So really, this is one of those uh, soups that you need to put in the fridge, minimum a couple of hours, because that way it's much, much better. Okay, it really has to be cold. And I mean, our kids, they don't drink it. They don't take it from a bowl. They drink it like on a glass, like if it was gazpacho. Gazpacho, I think that's... Because the gazpacho, in Spain, we have it in the fridge and you just, you know, yes, it's cold. Myself. It's super hot in the street. It's very cold. It's so like a vitamin boost. This is a vitamin boost as well. So that's what you do. Okay, so what you're doing now, we're just chopping very thin a little bit of mint. Yes, yeah, for decoration. If you don't like mint, you can use yerba buena. How do you say yerba buena in English? Mm, I don't know how you say yerba buena. Any it's other type of green. Any other type of green. Yerba buena. Oh my God. I. So. Anyway. Okay. So. So what I do is uh, put some mint. This is for the crunch, right? Yeah. Okay, and you can, what I love is feta cheese. You remember in one of our recipes, we made like feta cheese with olive oil and some spices. So if you don't remember that, just go on our feed, you will find the feta cheese with uh, spices, olive oil. We always have it at home. Oh yeah, that's a it's must at home. It's, it's like always a, on the fridge, like the summer, winter. Okay, so I put a cube. A little bit of feta cheese on top. Mmm. Huh? And ah, let me this. Let me get lit. Down. She's gone out of the camera. Oh, she's <laughs> washing her hands. Yeah, and. Why I'm using this, you can use uh, feta cheese straight from the supermarket, but I use ours because I can use the olive oil afterwards. Yeah, because this olive oil, it's, it's the one that has all the flavors and everything from it. So take a look at that healthy, tasty, fresh. Super good. Super good. Super quick. Super easy. Mega easy. Maggie. Cucumber. 
and uh, uh, Granny Smith. Gazpacho. Let's call oh, it so Gazpacho. Gazpacho. Yeah, it's a Gazpacho. Yeah, we can call it Gazpacho. If people from Andalusia listens to us, it'll be the sound, but... Oh, no, yeah, well... Mm. Gazpacho is always with tomato, okay? But this is cucumber. Well, um, you can also make it with asparagus. We'll make it one day. Yeah, ooh, we love that one, too. That cold soup with asparagus? Mm. We love it. Okay, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for joining in. And see you next Sunday. Don't forget to like this video, please. It helps a lot. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because that way you will get the alert that, hey, we are broadcasting. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye, amigos. Bye.